Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumper Wants X Back, What Now? I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www.dateme.tips. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing Dumper Wants X Back. What now? So this podcast aims to help both dumpies and dumpers. I'll be explaining the reason why a dumper potentially will change their mind about the breakup and how a dumpee can influence this. I'll also be explaining what a dumper needs to do if they want to try and get their ex back. So let's get straight into this. And this is how the story begins. A relationship is between two people who have a high level of romantic emotional attraction for one another. And if for whatever reason this level of romantic emotional attraction starts to deplete, then this will cause a strain on the relationship. And a relationship will end when somebody loses a significant amount of romantic emotional attraction. When this level plummets for what they see in their partner, this is when a breakup will likely take place. And it's at this stage that they will likely become a dumper and end the relationship. So now we understand the concept of why a breakup takes place. We can look at the perspective of the dumper as for why they might change their mind and want to try to get back with their ex, what they need to do to try and get their ex back, and what a dumpy can do if they want to try and get their ex back and influence their dumper's thoughts. So with the level of romantic emotional attraction very low in the dumper's mind, this level needs to raise to a certain high point for the dumper to be intrigued enough to make contact and to consider reconnecting. The dumpy does have an influence on this, and this is by using my version of a no contact rule. If you're not familiar with my version of a no contact rule, then please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications because I'm often uploading content explaining my version of a no contact rule. I have a playlist already that goes in depth on that very subject, so please make sure you check that out. But for now, I will just explain very, very briefly and without any of the exceptions to the rule, which is, in essence, in most instances, if a dumpy wants to try to get their ex back, they should never contact their ex again unless their ex contacts them first. And this is because they want to come across as scarce. If you are somebody who is scarce, then you are increasing your value. And as we've already said, this is very important because the dumper sees the dumpy as a low value individual. They have a very low level of romantic emotional attraction for the dumpy. And therefore, if the dumpy can become scarce, then this will increase the value. Scarcity creates value. And that is why there are so many things in this world which we place value on. And if you think, well, okay, what, what is the reason behind why are they so valuable? Often the main reason behind this is because they are scarce. Scarcity creates value. And that is why a dumpy needs to make their time, their presence, their essence scarce to the dumper. And they can best do this by implementing my version of a no contact rule and also increase this level of romantic emotional attraction in their ex's eyes by using hints and tips that I've mentioned in other podcasts. But I won't get into that right now. I don't want to digress from the subject, but check out my other podcasts to give yourself a better chance as a dumpy of increasing the level of romantic emotional attraction in your ex's eyes. So if and when the level of romantic emotional attraction hits this certain high point, this is when the dumper will be intrigued enough to make contact. Now, this could take days, this could take weeks, this could take months, this could take years. In some instances, it will never happen. 
There is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back. And in every instance, we can't predict the outcome. All we know is that if a dumpy can grow the level of romantic emotional attraction in their ex's mind, then it stands a chance of reaching this high point. If it's too low, if too many things have happened and it is too low to raise to the necessary level, then the dumper won't reach out. But sometimes the dumper will reach out sooner than you think. And this is because if a level of romantic emotional attraction wasn't too low at the time of a breakup, then there isn't much time needed for the dumper to grow enough romantic emotional attraction to hit the necessary high point. As I said, it could take a long time. It could be months. It could be years. But in some instances, it could be days. It could be weeks. Sometimes it's not very long. And when the dumper gets to this moment of realisation that they now want to speak with their ex, potentially reconnect with their, with their ex. They're not necessarily thinking of romantic emotional attraction. This is something that's subconscious and just their mindset shifts. So it could be days, weeks, months, years, whatever the time period, it doesn't really matter. What matters is they've hit the necessary level where their intrigue wants to reach out to their ex, the dumpy. Now, this is where it's very important for dumpers to listen for what they need to do to give themselves the best possible chance of trying to get their ex back from this position and also for dumpees to listen for what they need to do if they receive contact from their ex. So if you are a dumper and you want to try to get your ex back and you've got to this point where you're starting to reconsider your thoughts, you need to reach out to your ex. So if you are a dumper, you must make contact with your ex. You must contact them. My suggestion would be via a message because there's a lot less pressure by using a message. It's a lot less pressure than meeting in person, than going to their house, than making a phone call. My suggestion is that you send a message. Send a text message or some type of messaging app. Send a message and within this message, you want to be apologising initially for the breakup. So within this message, you want to apologise for what has happened and you want to explain your reasoning around what you did, but then also include the fact that you now regret your decision. You now need to include within this that you believe you've made a mistake and that you feel really sorry for what has happened. As I said, go into a little bit of detail about why you did what you did. But it's very important to apologise. And the crucial element is at the end of a message, end it in your own words by saying, if you would ever like to chat, then please contact me. That is crucial because at this moment, the dumper should never contact their ex again unless their ex contacts them first. So the dumper must contact their ex initially, but only once. The dumper reaches out once. And at that stage, they need to walk away and move forward with their life and never contact their dumpy again unless their ex contacts them. At that stage, you can begin to regrow your connection. Now, if you're a dumpy and you receive contact from your ex and you want to get them back, then you must reply. I mean, even if you just want to have a friendly conversation, you must reply. You know, whatever your position as the dumpy, you must reply to your ex if you want to give them the appropriate gateway to have a conversation. So maybe you're at the stage where you don't want your ex back, but you would like to know how they're doing and you want to offer some type of platonic friendship. In that instance, you reply. If you want to get your ex back, if you want to grow that level of romance once more, if you want to get back together with your ex and build a relationship on a much stronger foundation than before, then you certainly must reply 100%. And this is where dumpies often make mistakes because what they don't realise is that this is very challenging for the dumper. And the dumper when they make contact, won't always be as clear as what I have just suggested the dumper does. In most instances, the dumper will be feeling tentative and they will send a very short message. Maybe it's off topic. It will basically be breadcrumbs. It won't necessarily make a whole lot of sense. It will probably be very short. And some dumpies will see these breadcrumbs and they will just ignore them. They'll be thinking, look, I want to hear from my ex. I want to talk to them. I might want to get back with them, or I definitely want to get back with them. But in my mind, they need to work harder. 
And this is where the Dawn P makes a huge mistake because what they don't understand is that the Dawn P is feeling very tentative right now. And this might be the only time they reach out. Okay, if the dumper doesn't get a response back from the dumpy, then they might think, you know what, I've made a huge mistake here. I shouldn't have done this. The dumpy doesn't want to hear from me. I'm going to move on with my life. And they will never contact the dumpy again. So you could have an instance where both of you want to get back together, where the dumper wants to get back, where the dumpy wants to get back. But through poor communication skills, you never get back together. If the dumper doesn't send out the type of text that I've suggested, then there is a strong possibility that the dumpy will misconstrue this contact, will think that it doesn't deserve a response, and will ignore it, thinking, no, I'm going to wait till they send something better. And yet they don't understand that they are running a huge risk of never hearing from their ex again. Okay, on occasion, the dumper might realise what is necessary and might reach out once more. But I've known of numerous instances where dumpies have said to me, well, my ex reached out to me, but it wasn't good enough. So I didn't reply. And now I've not heard anything in two years. And they wonder why. And it's because the dumper has felt like this is a sign and they've moved on. So what I'm trying to tell you today is that whether you are a dumpy or a dumper, communication is vital. If you are a dumper and you want to reconnect with your ex, you need to send a clear message apologising, explaining the situation and asking your dumpy at the end to contact you if they would ever like to speak. If you are a dumpy and you want to get back with your ex, if you receive any type of contact from your ex, even if it's not as clear as what I've just described, you must respond because this could be your one and only opportunity to regrow your connection. Now, now look, even if you don't want to get back together, even if you just want a platonic friendship, even if you just want to hear how each of you are doing, you need to communicate in an effective way. If you are a dumper and you don't want to get back with your ex, but you want to contact them for, for some reason, maybe you have heard about something that's gone in their area or in their life, you want to reach out, send the message, say to them, look, I know you might not want to hear from me, but I just wanted to ask if you're okay. I just wanted to ask how you are. Please contact me if you would like to speak. And then again, move forward. Don't contact them again, unless the dumpy reaches out. If you're a dumpy, and you're thinking, I've moved on with my life. You know, maybe you've met somebody new, but you hear from your ex and you think, you know what, I would just like to see how they're doing, you know, just on a platonic level. Then again, you must reply. You can't be playing this game where if you're the dumpy, you will only reply if it's a specific type of magic text that's going to really give you everything you've ever desired. Or, you know, it's got to be the perfect length, the perfect text content. You're probably not going to get this. So if you want any type of communication at all, dumpies, certainly if you want to try to get your ex back, you must reply no matter how small or irrelevant the contact seems to be. And if you are a dumper, if you want to try to get your ex back, if you've changed your mind, if you want to reach out to your ex and just ask them how they are doing, you need to be clear in the message you send, make sure there is no pressure attached, and at the end, ask your ex to contact you if they would ever like to speak with you again and then move forward. This is how communication works best. This is how you can regrow a connection. Or even if you just want to see how you're both doing, the same goes for it. You know, you've got to use communication effectively and correctly. But certainly, if you want to try to get your ex back and you are a dumpy, please respond if you receive contact from your ex for dumper. And if you are a dumper and you want to try to get your ex back, you reach out once and then you move forward and you never contact your ex again unless they respond to this text that you've constructed. So I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast. I hope this enables both dumpers and dumpees to understand how important communication is if you want to speak once more and especially if you want to try to get your ex back. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat, you know Vincent Bo got you. Finding love ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now.